Hello, let's learn about the PLC or the product life cycle. A product like human beings has a life. It begins at a point of time and it also has an end. So the stages of the product life cycle are the introductory stage, the growth stage, maturity stage and the decline stage. In the introductory stage, it is when the product is developed by the company and it is launched into the market. Once the commercial launch happens, the product is out there for the public for consumption and then slowly it increases in its presence in the sales and it begins what is called the growth stage. Once the growth stage is achieved, it continues and when the growth stage peaks, it is said to have reached its maturity stage. Once a product is a mature product in the market, it is already present in the market and established itself as a product that has a considerable customer uh, strength. And uh, after a period of time, after a certain uh, number of years or maybe shorter than that, depending upon the product, it reaches what is called the decline stage because uh, for some reason uh, that is different for each product, the market begins to shrink, customers are less um, and the product slowly uh, uh, reduces, its, the demand for the product slowly reduces and it reaches the end of its life. Sometimes products do get an extension of life through various modifications which are made in the product but many a time products do reach their end until they are withdrawn from the market. Now, let's examine each of these. As you can see here, the introduction stage, uh, this, uh, when you plot it in a graph with the sales on the x-axis and the time on the, I'm sorry, the time on the x-axis and the sales on the y-axis, you will see that the introductory stage is a stage where sales are the lowest and then the sales increases. Uh, through the growth stage and the maturity stage and towards the decline stage the sales goes down and at times as I mentioned the product does receive an extension but if it is not extended then it slowly reaches its end. Let's examine each of these stages individually. The first one is known as the introductory stage. In the introductory stage or just prior to the introductory stage is where the new product development effort of the product of uh, um, any marketing company happens. Before it, anything is launched into the market, there is an extensive, extensive uh, activity regarding new product development practices, which include uh, considerable research and development into the product, understanding the market requirements, uh, ensuring that the product is created in such a way that it is able to satisfy the customer needs. And slowly, the product is tested and launched into the market. Once it is launched into the market, the introductory stage starts and here in the beginning the sales will be zero and then slowly the sales and profits will be increasing. But um, the sales at the introductory phase is generally very slow. The acceptance for the product will also be slow because the customers have to now accept, have to know about the product and accept it. And uh, some uh, customers, the, those who are called the early adopters will have to purchase it. And if there is a good review, if there is a good uh, um, feedback on the product, then the uh, product continues to grow in the market. So in the beginning, the sales will be less, but growing. The marketing efforts at this point of time is generally very, very high. There is a lot of uh, marketing communications. There is a lot of publicity. There's a lot of advertising that is happening uh, at the introductory stage because the market now needs to be aware that such a product is present and uh, its benefit and uh, attributes uh, and features needs to be communicated to the public in general. Uh, in case of retailers, at this point of time, the enthusiasm from retailers and uh, shops and other agencies who are uh, into the distribution part, it will be much less because it is not a well-known product. But if the product is from an accepted brand or from a very popular brand, in that case, their enthusiasm will definitely be higher. The in investment at this, at this point of time is very, very heavy and hence the profits generally are low or sometimes they are on the negative until they break even. 
So the length of this period depends on the product's complexity and the branding, communication and a lot of other factors. But at the end of this stage, generally, the product uh, is, is reaching a very steady growth stage. It has, uh, um, it is, uh, there is break even in terms of profitability. And uh, it's always better to have a shorter introductory uh, cycle than to have a lengthier and a longer one. Now let's move ahead and examine the next stage which is the growth stage. So in the growth stage there is a very quick increase in demand. Now you can see that the product is growing steadily. The customer number of customers are increasing. It is uh, it is now become or more or less it is becoming popular in the market. People are aware about it and there is all, also good feedback in the market about the product. The distribution becomes quite strong. There is a um, the product is easily available in the market and uh, there is a positive impression regarding the uh, regarding the product. It is visible and people are willing to uh, purchase hence there is a steady demand and there is a steady growth so the profits at this point are very high they rise rapidly uh, competition now begins to enter the scene in the introductory stage if the product is completely new there will be very less or minimal competition now competitors are aware of the product and they also start coming in with uh, similar products and the competition stiffens then profits are very very high but at the same time there is also a marketing expense which is uh, uh, which kind of sets it off because to uh, compete in the market with a, a very strong competition and to ensure that the product is distributed everywhere and present everywhere the cost tend to be quite high so this is uh, the growth stage and the next stage will be the maturity stage in the maturity stage you will see that the sales have peaked they have reached a saturation limit and uh, the product is now stable there is a stable sales volume price competition now comes in because price becomes a very uh, important factor due to the uh, presence of uh, competitions which are similar or competitors who are similar to the product and uh, it continues uh, to be profitable there is uh, expenses in terms of distribution and uh, advertisement but they are much less compared to that of a growth stage because the distribution is already established um, advertisement which is done in the growth stage now ensures that the people are aware about it and there is uh, uh, there are loyal customers for the product and they will continue to buy these uh, buy the product so this is the maturity stage and once the maturity stage is over, we move into the decline stage or the last stage of the product's life cycle. In the decline stage, the sales now goes down. There is a loss of sales, there is a loss of profitability. Post products continue to be profitable for um, a, a rather longer period of time in the decline stage but maybe towards the end of the decline stage or the last part of it, the profitability also goes down. Uh, the reason could be many maybe there are there is a change in technology there are alternatives available there are uh, better methods of uh, uh, taking care of this customer's requirement that this product is uh, filling a uh, uh, product is actually filling fulfilling the the profit margin goes down because the customer's interest is less and the number of people who are buying has come down only very few loyal customers will continue to purchase the product during the decline stage and um, the sales rapidly goes down sometimes it reaches zero or sometimes uh, it goes uh, just goes down and uh, reaches a very uh, very steady low very low level and once the product reaches the decline stage and the profits are negative and the sales are negligible or minimal uh, products are either withdrawn from the market and abandoned or sometimes the products are given a new life by creating extensions in such extension maybe certain new features or certain new um, additions are added to the product to make it attractive to the customers or uh, certain changes are made in the product so that uh, it is now able to compete with the uh, new competition and then the product actually gets an extended lease of life for a further few few uh, years or certain period of time uh, but towards the end the product definitely comes to an uh, comes to the abandonment stage or it stops its life and it reaches the end point and at that point the product life cycle is over 
that's it about the product life cycle and its four stages introduction growth maturity decline thank you